Prime Minister Netanyahu, as you saw, cheered the rocket launch from Israel's control center this morning. But get this, by the time the spacecraft actually lands on the moon, he may not be Prime Minister anymore. How's that for a transition for, to Israel's election drama, which is just seven weeks away? It's not that far from now, and it is up to the voters. According to a few new polls, the newest party, the Blue and White, with former IDF Chief of Staff Benny Gantz and former TV show host Yair Lapid at the helm, is going to beat Netanyahu at the ballot box. Channel 12's latest poll has that dance lapid alliance with 36 seats. Netanyahu's Likud trails at 30 seats. Other parties there well, well behind in the single digits. The Labour Party down to eight. The biggest Arab party has six seats. But then check this out. From Channel 13, the gap between Gantz and Netanyahu isn't six seats. Their poll says right now it's already double digits. It's 36 versus 26. A lot going on. That blue and white party has three generals in their top four, all three former chiefs of staff. They have about 100 years of military experience between them. The Air Lapid is somewhat of an outcast in that group. He's been a lawmaker for several years, but before that he became famous as a TV show host and journalist. During the official party launch, Benny Gantz, the top dog, admitted there's a lot of ego between these men. But he said they can work together to build a better country. Keep in mind, if they're elected, they will both serve as prime minister under a rotation agreement. So let's hear what both have to say. We felt and said in the last decade something went wrong. Israel lost its way. The government created disputes and divided a good, intelligent people. A government of divide and conquer that tears people apart, that tears us apart. An evil wind walked the streets and we are here to say enough is enough. Over the past, there have been two mergers in the political sphere, a merger of extremism and a merger of hope. Netanyahu is putting Mahir Kahana followers in parliament and offered to parliament member Betzalel Smotrich to be the minister of education for our children. He is intensifying the hate, the fear, the racism and the violence. That has to be stopped. In order to stop this government of fear, we are establishing a wall of hope today. With me now in studio is Ellie Hochenberg, our diplomatic correspondent. Ellie, it is not, we should remind our viewers, the biggest single party that in the election that forms the government. It's the party that can form the coalition. You can right. build the blocks together to get 61 seats. Right. So with that in mind, what do we make about the blue and white in the polls? Well, first of all, a very expected boost in uh, polls, not undermining uh, the achievement of putting the egos aside and uh, uniting, but uh, the big question is whether they'll be able to maintain it. But as you said, in Israeli politics, the name of, a, of the game is all about who has the best prospect of establishing a coalition. And in that sense, it doesn't really matter if you're a party gets 100 million seats. If you have no coalition partners, you can be the next prime minister. And this is the main problem uh, uh, that uh, the, this, new, uh, this new party is now facing. As we can see on screen, it's quite tight, but still, even though it's minor, there is, uh, there is uh, an advantage to, in favor of the right-wing bloc. And the, Netanyahu has been down this path before. He has become prime minister even right. at a time when the Likud right. wasn't the biggest single party. That's not the key to victory. That's very right. Sipi Livni uh, got a few elections ago the highest uh, amount of seats. She was the go-to option of establishing a coalition, but she couldn't do it. She had no partners. And this is why Netanyahu has been investing so many efforts until last night to make sure that all the right-wing parties will make it across the electoral Including threshold. because controversially, he, some really far-right-wing parties. Definitely a very drastic shift uh, to the right in that uh, sense, but the, the uh, logic behind it is exactly that. Netanyahu needs to maintain a lead to the right-wing bloc as a whole. It's not just his ruling Likud party, but his potential coalition partners. And also, just as a side note, um, uh, the, uh, the counter bloc, if you will, does it include the uh, Arab parties, yes or no? Um, 
it's, it, it, it's a very difficult question. I'm not sure that some of these ex-generals, Moshe Bogielon, first and foremost, a hawkish uh, uh, security men, will be willing to sit in the same coalition with uh, the Arab parties. So it's not that, that being, easy. That being said, is Netanyahu rattled by these numbers? Yeah. It, it must be startling for him to see that he really has a serious challenge. I, I think that we're uh, we can uh, we're facing a scenario in which uh, Netanyahu is some. To a certain extent, the boy who cried wolf, because for many years he's been alerting the Israeli public for from the uh, potential rise of a leftist government, and now it's actually feasible. Um, and for the first time in many years, Jeff, yesterday, last night, Netanyahu was reacting to an agenda being dictated by someone that is not him. They took the podium first, all those uh, four uh, leaders, and only then did Netanyahu had his own press conference replying to their speeches to their accusations. Let's take a quick listen uh, to some of uh, Netanyahu's uh, remarks last night. They say the state is in a tough situation, never been worse. What are they talking about? The country has never been better. Lapid and Gantz supported the dangerous nuclear deal with Iran that allows it to acquire an arsenal of nuclear bombs in order to destroy us. And guess what becomes irrelevant, Jeff? Indictments. Submitted, not submitted, it doesn't matter. We have two clear, distinct blocks now, and no one on the right side of the political map will not support Netanyahu at this crucial phase, even if indictments are to be submitted. The path is clear, and the election just weeks away.